Well, on this Friday, weather-wise, we might have one of our most impactful days that we've had in the last two or three weeks here because we've been in a pretty benign but nice summer weather pattern. Today it feels like we're going to undergo a big transition from the summer-like heat yesterday to some very fall-like conditions by tomorrow. So today is our transition day. Today is the day we are likely getting thunderstorms and some gusty winds as a result. So the alerts from the National Weather Service include both blowing dust advisories and wind advisories. The blowing dust could just be a result of the winds picking up some dirt and dust and lowering visibility, not unlike what fog would do during the morning hours. But all this is attached to the thunderstorms that we are expecting. So we have CREM2 weather impact alert days for today from 2 to 8 o'clock. That would be the time frame of the wind and thunderstorms all across the inland northwest. Just plan around the thunderstorms. If you have an outdoor activity in that six hour window, you might want to reconsider just because the thunderstorm chance is looking likely at this point, even though it will be a scattered chance. So our satellite and radar is showing a lot of the scattered showers still on the west side, but that low pressure center is about to make that turn and basically cut straight through central and northern Washington, bringing its energy and its moisture and its thunderstorms along with it. So here's what our computer modeling shows for today. The action could start as early as two o'clock, but it is looking a lot more likely closer to about five or six o'clock in the early evening. And you see quite a few scattered showers and thunderstorms attached to it, just waves of such that will begin in those afternoon hours and continue through seven, eight or even nine o'clock today. So again, a scattering of showers and thunderstorms. And if you're in the immediate vicinity of any of that, one, you could get some very heavy rain, but it's the gusty outflow winds that can gust up to 50 miles per hour, and that's what could kick up dust. That's what could shake around some tree branches with these thunderstorms that will pass through. Now, once we get into the evening hours, the intensity will start to go away, but some scattered showers might still remain over central and northern Washington. For Saturday morning, I think the best chance of rain will be over Okanagan County and northern Washington overall. There will still be a chance in Spokane, but that chance certainly lowers quite a bit for this weekend as that colder air really settles in across the inland northwest. So now temperature wise today, a high of 77 in Spokane, 74 in Coeur d'Alene. Look at how much colder it is for the Puget Sound, 62 for the high in Seattle. It won't quite be that cold for this weekend here, but it might very well be in the low 70s or even upper 60s. This will be our coldest day since mid June, so it's been more than two months since we've had weather this cool, and that's what will make it feel very fall like for the season. But today tracking those thunderstorms just to reiterate one more time that that chance will be between about two to eight o'clock today with scattered thunderstorms.